Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. In this video, I'll be taking you through implementing a Django signal. The purpose of a Django signal is to notify your application when a certain event occurs. So for example, in my application that I've got set up here, I've created a basic uh, blog app and this blog app has one uh, class or model in it, which is comment. So what I want to do is that when I update the user's comment to approved, uh, the user should receive a notification in their email saying, hey, your comment has been approved and so on. So this would be maybe if you had a blog application where you need to review each and every comment before they go live, then the user would receive a notification once the comments have been approved. As you can see, there are several signals that Django offers. Uh, you've got the post save uh, that it would execute a method after saving uh, an object and pre-save would be executing a method before you save an object. And there are several others like pre-delete, post-delete and so on. So let's go ahead and implement a pre-save uh, signal. So in my Django application here, I've got a basic setup now uh, with uh, a comment class. So what I want to do is that when uh, comment status has been updated. Uh, maybe a user would receive an email notification saying, hey, your comment has been approved. So this would be maybe in a blog application where comments need to be mod moderated before they can actually be displayed to the public. So to implement our pre-save event, what we'll need to do is first import our pre-save signal. This will be from django.db. dot models dot signals okay then we'll import pre-save and then we'll also need a receiver decorator and I'll explain that in a bit so this will be from Django.dispatch and this is all in the documentation that I have opened up here so if you need more info on all of these you can uh, read through this documentation here So the method that will be uh, calling in our pre-save event will be send, uh, let's just say print email rather. Okay. And this print email will have a decorator, which will be our receiver. And decorators in Django basically apply a certain condition to your methods. So for example, here, this receiver decorator means uh, this method would be executed on a pre-save event. And this pre-save event should be coming from a specific class, which would be our comment, uh, comment class. So it has to be sender equals, okay? So this would only execute our print email method only when there's a pre-save event coming from the comment class. And our method will be receiving some parameters which will be the sender class also the updated instance and a few other uh, parameters okay so let's go ahead and print what we get so let's print the instance so the difference between the pre-save and the post-save is that the pre-save uh, gives you both the updated instance and what was uh, the well the previous object and the updated instance. So if you have to compare between the updated and the previous object, you would use the pre-save instead of the post-save. And to print out the previous uh, object, you just say sender dot objects so this would be your actual comment class it won't be a specific instance it would be the whole class so you'd need to actually uh, get the specific comment that you need and for that you'll just say objects dot get and then you pass the id and the id would be the instance dot id okay so this would only be executed on a pre-save so if I go ahead and click save as you can see uh, we have an instance they call Joey Joey and let me just get the status from each so instance dot status ok 
Okay. So currently our status is pending. This is the current status. So as you can see, the first uh, print would be the previous status, which would be pending, and then the updated status would be printed next. So let me change from pending to approved and click save. And as you can see, so it was pending. Now the status has been approved. So basically you'd use this maybe if, as I mentioned, if you want to compare um, uh, the status from the previous status and then maybe send an email to the user that, hey, your comment has been updated, uh, visit our blog and so on. And that's pretty much it. You can play around with the rest of the signals um, that are here on the documentation.